Hello and welcome back to another edition of Simply a Woman. My name is Patience Godswill. If you're seeing this face for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. And please, please, please don't make it your last. Subscribe to this channel and be part of all we do here. And uh, to my old subscribers, thank you for always, always, always coming back. On today's edition, I have a very special guest here with me. And um, we also have a very special topic we want to discuss. If you are a young wife who just got married, please, this video is for you. And then if you've been married for a while, you, have, you are still raising your kids, this video is also for you. So um, before I introduce the topic, let me just introduce her quickly, or let me just allow her to introduce herself. Can you just tell us your name and what you do? This is Kezia Fawe, and I'm a proprietress of the school by the grace of God. So she lived here in the city of Joss with her family. I came visiting and we decided to do this video. So um, we are going to be talking about how to raise your kids, you know, in the midst of so many relations living with you. We know that in the times we are in, actually, there are lots of families that will not allow, you know, they, while they are raising their kids, they don't allow anybody to live with them. Yes, I know of some families that that is their principle. That's what they've decided to do. But while I was growing up, while I was living with her, I, I saw a very a scenario or a, a situation that looked normal to me at that time. But now, when I'm thinking of it, I actually saw the risks that they took. Most of us, uh, our siblings, you know, we came to live with them and then... She also has her husband's relatives who came to live with them. The husband was sponsoring them through school. And she just got married at that time. And she had to raise her children in the midst of so many people. So many people. Really, if I think of it right now, I don't even know if I can do what she did. And uh, But what impressed me the most is how she's able to raise or she's been able to raise her children. And uh, seven children in all, two are already married. So, uh, lots of them are graduates and I think just two left that are yet to complete you know their school so I'm really impressed with that and uh, there are so many of us watching right now that will find ourselves in such situations where you have some of your husband's relatives come stay with you or maybe some of your siblings come stay with you or one situation or the other and sometimes your children get abused or your, your girls get raped and so many situations or so many things that can come up as a result so today i just want her to share a little bit with us on how she's able to raise her children in the midst of so many congregations <laughs> all right so my first question to you is uh when did you get how long have you been married i have been married for the past uh, over 35 years i think this december 2023, I will be 36 years in marriage by the grace of God. Wow. <laughs> so she, she's already 36 years in marriage and like I said, with seven children. So my next question to you is, how were you able to raise your children, you know, your kids in the midst of so many relatives? How were you able to give them that value, God, you know, uh, value and instill a lot of discipline in them for them to be where they are today? Actually, it it was very, very challenging because when I married my husband, most of his relations were already adults. So he was living with them. When I came and my own too, I am a senior sister and many of them came living with us. From the beginning, when I started raising my children, they were little children. You know, children learn more by what they see. So you discover that when you are trying to impact one thing or the other on the, in the children, you discover that what they see those adults hmm. doing is mostly what they learn. Yeah. So you discover, I was having problem with that. And most of the times, I will want my husband to be the one to address it. But he will not say, he will hardly say anything. So one day he told me something that actually helped me to succeed. He said, any woman that will not be able to correct uh, children that live with her even her own children will spoil I say what? Hmm. So my own will, will spoil it means that all my efforts will be wasted so I now tighten my belt and I made up my mind I will not be wicked either from my own side or from the side of my husband anybody that is living with me is just like my own child so I am meant to correct them 
are meant to tell them where they go wrong, correct it so that if they learn from it, then my own children too will learn. And that was part of the things that made me to succeed seriously. And no matter what you do, I will address it. I won't, wait. I won't report to my husband. I just see all of them as my own. And that was partly what helped me seriously mm. to succeed mm. in raising my children. So I want to just quickly uh, ask you to share with us what are the risks in opening your home to, you know, lots of relatives while you're raising your kids, you know, and uh, at a very tender age. What, what are some of these? I want us to just talk about it because... Um, what you did at that time, it yes. has advantages and disadvantages. disadvantages. If you are able to do that, fine. But if you are the type who is not able to handle that kind of a situation, I'm telling you, it has a lot of risk. And I want us to just quickly talk about some of these risks that were there, and yet you were able to succeed in raising you know, the kind of children that you have today. Actually, there are so many risks. In fact, in the times that we are in, I will hardly, you know, advise anyone to take the risk that we did at that time. Because evil is multiplying in the days that we are in. And actually, part of the things that made me to succeed that time was I have to learn to pray. Because it was, it was much. You know, the tendency for your children to be abused is there. Because Definitely. I have made mostly mm. female children, mm. and in these times that we are in, that rape is very common. Mm. You discover that if you take that risk, mm. your children can be abused. Yeah. So, and also, the, even the male children, they are not left out. Mm -hmm. You know, most of them, we drink, and when they drink and come, mm. you discover that the male children are there, they are seeing it. Mm -hmm. So, the, 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 even the... They, they may deliberately even introduce them mm -hmm. into some of those that things. Lifestyle, yes. 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 So if you take the risk in the time that we are in, mm -hmm. that is some of those are some of the things you see. Mm -hmm. And also you discover that in most cases, mm -hmm. even the resources mm -hmm. that you will need mm -hmm. to take to give to give attention to your children, mm -hmm. you discover that it You're will sharing be, it. Yes, you are sharing it. Even the, the the to to be able to get your attention. Mm -hmm. Is something because mm. you need to work with your children, know mm. them. Mm. When you come in, it, it is another person that has done something. Definitely. Yes, mm. and you you cannot you may hardly know your children very well. Mm. So these are the some of most of the risks mm. involved. Mm. Uh, many of them have come. They come in even some of them, you know, in from the stories you hear, mm -hmm. they may come with strange spirit mm -hmm. that can pollute your children. They yeah. initiate them into Definitely. different things, Definitely. but. I discovered that mm. God really helped me. Definitely. And Definitely. most of those things that I hear, mm. you know, did not occur to my children. And mm. I give glory to God mm. for that mm. because he sees my heart mm. and he is able to help me through all this. Mm. Wow, that's a lot. So I, I also, I learned something now from what she just said. She talked about prayer. You have to learn to be prayerful. You know, you have to pray and cover your children all the time. The truth is, even if you are just raising your children alone, like just your children, there are no relatives around, things can happen, even in school. You can just send your child from here. We've had cases where children are just sent to the shop to buy things and maybe in the evenings and rape happens. So as mothers, we have lots and lots of responsibilities. I, Like I said, I saw a lot while I was with her, but... I also saw how she was able to, and and unfortunately for her, let me say, let me say, fortunately or unfortunately, her husband was not the talking type, and he was always around. So she had to deal with all these relations and all these siblings and all of that. Even even myself, inclusive, I I knew how you know she she really stood her ground to make sure that we become who we were. At that time, we felt like she was doing it too much. But as we grew up now, we saw that she really did a lot. And um, we also saw the result on her children, how she's been able to raise her children. Because relatives will come and go, but your children will be the ones that will always be there with you. Um, so if there's a mother, 
who is watching us right now can you just give who is in that situation can you just give one or two advice on how uh she she will be able to protect and raise her children even when relations are always there or relatives are always there you know in the african setting mm -hmm. you hardly can do away with uh, you know relations mm -hmm. so my advice to us is that whether uh, whether we bring in people or not mm -hmm. as a as a woman learn to you know uh, draw your children close to yourself mm -hmm. teach them the word of god mm -hmm. You know, pray for them a lot. Declare mm. upon their lives. Mm. In fact, make sure that these children, whatever you 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 are saying, mm. is what you too you are doing. Because mm. you too have to be a role model <laughs> yeah, to them. Yes, so yes. by His grace, mm. even when my two daughters married, what God was telling me is that you have been praying for them. Now it's time to teach them. Wow. Now it's time to also introduce them into that life, prayerful life. So you discover that as a young uh, mother, you have to, you know, draw your children to yourself, mm. take charge of your home, mm. and ensure that you are doing the right thing. Mm. God will help you. Wow. Thank you so much for all that Thank you've you. shared with us here today. Mm -hmm. And um, please, I'd like to know your comments on this topic, how to raise your children in the midst of uh, relatives, when you have relatives who have to come and stay with you, how do you raise your children? Even when the children are alone, how do you raise them? You know, I like to know your comments. Share with me one or two tips on how to do that and like this video. You know, share it, share it to as much women as you can. And uh, please subscribe to this channel if you have not done that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in my next. Thank you. Bye-bye.